Okay. Alright, so I just want to show off my first Raspberry Pi project using the uh, the LCD plate. And this is actually also my first Linux project and my first Python project and my first completed programming project, so I'm pretty happy with it. But what it is, is a um, IP interface. So if we let it boot, and it should be just about there. There you go. So it runs a program, and what it does is, first off, it displays the IP address that the device currently has. And it states that it's, um, it's using DHCP. But it allows you to set a static IP address using the uh, LCD screen and the LCD plate. So you can go through, and this is the IP address, and you can go through and change all the figures. It goes all the way up to 255, but you can glitch it past a little bit. But once it's at 5 here, it won't go up anymore, you know. Um, you can change the IP address, you can change the net mask, you can change the network, the broadcast, and the gateway, which is all the uh, elements that the uh, interface setup has. So currently I'm using DHCP. It'll ask me if I want to switch to the settings I just changed. I can And after I switch, I can apply the changes, or I can discard the changes, like that. And it just goes back to exactly what it was before. I can also quit the program, um, so I don't have to do it from a from a from a console, and and then it goes back to the uh, the cycles back to the beginning. So I can go and I can change it to let's see, let's go one six two, and let's keep that, keep that, keep that, keep that. So we're currently using DHCP. We want to switch. Changes must be applied. Apply the changes, it will write the files, starting services, and there we go. It has changed the IP address and we're on static. And I can go back and I can change it to. Oh, wait, so it also. It also. Um, there you go, you can see it's kept all the changes. So I can go to static, or I can. Go back to DHCP and there it goes. So, it, so it's gone back to DHCP and it's showing the 161, but the setting I changed to 162 is still changed in the static settings that are saved in the on a different file. So it's pretty cool I think. Oh yeah, and then also the quit. I'll just show that. I got quit and you can do um, do that. Closing. There you go. So also what I can do is just because I made it so that you can reboot the Raspberry Pi um, just um, with a hidden button. Reboot Raspberry Pi, and you can do yes, or you can continue to recycle through the modes. And um, the main reason for that is because I wanted to reboot, but I didn't want to have another confusing menu option. So that'll proceed to reboot, and it doesn't clear the screen, and so it, the screen will reset once the program automatically runs again. So we'll let that do its thing. There we go. So it's reboot. Um, also, let me quit out of this. Yes, close it. Okay. So I also have it set up so that um, I've made a, a second, um, a newer version of the program. There it is. I'll run that now. And what it is is for simplicity's sake, what I've done is I've removed the, the menu options 
for the network and the broadcast. So what it does is it just, it just skips over them. And what it does instead is when I go into the IP address and I change these first three um, sections, I don't know what the proper name of these things are. Um, when I change these first three and I press next, the um, network and the broadcast inherit those and it just has the 0 and 255 for the last digit for each each of those um, just to simplify things and uh, so that's the latest change but it has the ability to go back and, and, and display all of them again so yeah that's my, my first program so um, you can have it so the Raspberry Pi is, is running this process or whatever you want to run but you can go into it and without having and just have it be a standalone thing you can change its IP address is the idea so that's what I got going and I think it's pretty cool and yeah um, I guess I if I can figure out how to get the code in the description I'll probably do that <laughs> and I can probably figure it out but it might not be there for a while. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching.